DeepSeek just dropped more goodies for AI community. Uh, this time a research paper and a good one at that. DeepSeek has presented a new LLM attention mechanism called Native Sparse Attention. Let's start by looking at the performance improvements from this new method. As shown in left chart, there is no degradation, but rather improvement in score on general long bench and reasoning benchmarks. All that while achieving 11.6x improvement in decoding speed, 9x in forward pass speed and 6x in backward pass speed. The forward will translate to improvement in inference speed and backward during training. Here is a performance comparison of a 27B model trained using full attention and the new native sparse attention. And the performance accuracy is almost the same on eight different benchmarks. They also show 100% accuracy in needle in haystack test using 64K context length. I was hoping for a test on much longer context window, like 256K or more. In this table, they show native sparse attention's performance with reasoning model with a substantial improvement or a full attention and that continues at longer context window lengths. In the paper, DeepSeek also present their GPU kernels developed for native sparse attention. The chart compares new kernels with NVIDIA's flash attention too, and the improvement is more pronounced as the context length increases. At 64K context length, during forward pass, DeepSeek's kernel show compute improvement of 9X compared to NVIDIA. Uh, this table compares the number of times memory is accessed when using full attention versus new native sparse attention. It is amazing they achieve the same or better performance with only 5.6K memory access request as opposed to 65.5K memory access of full attention at context of 65.5K. The primary focus of this new method is to improve the compute efficiency of attention in long context lengths. And the DeepSeek has achieved that without impacting the quality of output generated by LLM. Uh, let's look at how they have achieved this improvement. In the simplest part is the sliding window attention, which computes attention scores only for the last slash recent part of the context window with a fixed size. So the sliding window works like a regular full attention but for a fixed size window towards the end of the context window. The remaining two part is compressed attention and selected attention. To get the compressed and selected attention, the context is broken down into blocks, akin to splitting a large paragraph into sentences. For each block, a compressed attention is calculated, which is akin to summarizing a sentence into few words. Using the score from compressed attention, it then selects top 10 candidates from all the blocks. All tokens for a selected block is kept, so no detail is lost for that. those blocks. Once attention score of local, compressed, and selected block is computed, then these are used to calculate the final attention. The paper also presents the design for GPU kernel developed for native sparse attention. I am not too familiar with GPU kernels, but from what I understand is that for each block, the keys and values for that block is loaded and attention computed in SRAM and results stored in high bandwidth memory. And each block is processed in parallel. That is the grid loop. Given this paper, we might see open weight models with very large context windows. I think there is currently only two open source models with one million contacts window the Quinn 2.57B and Quinn 2.514B. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and feel free to like and subscribe and have a great day.